species, the equivalent in multimedia of the above conversion of a data flip-flop to a two-input JK flip-flop using Xilinx primitive component from the Xilinx library. So our overall entity will be something like this with a J and K to correspond to the JK input of the flip-flop JK with a single output Q and we like to create also the complement of that we call it QN. We like to provide also the reset to the flip-flop and we like to bring in the Xilinx Evaluation Board system clock, which is a 50 megahertz. We call it CLK 50 megahertz. And we like the mechanical push button to be connected to B. Internally, in the VHDL, code, we're going to debounce this mechanical switch uh, by using code. So the, enti the typical code is given here. The usual library IEEE and the usage of their IEEE standard. Here we got the 1164 arithmetic and sign as well. This is the typical way of doing that. In order to invoke or to use the primitive component, we got to use the library Unisim and use the unisim.vc component dot all. Next we define the entity which is the black box that we have seen a while ago. So that black box is called the entity, we call it as D2JK component and the port is made up of a J, an input, an in standard logic K also in standard logic. B is in standard logic, our very bouncing, very bouncy push button. And Q is the output standard logic, QN, which is the complement of Q, is also out standard logic. The reset standard logic and the system clock 50 megahertz input standard logic. That's the end of the entity component. The interrelationship between this port signal or port is described inside the architecture which we call behavioral. And we first list the various component we are going to use which is made up of an inverter, so we call it component in V, whose port uh, formal declaration, the first is the output, so we, and it's given as O in the formal parameter out standard U logic, followed by the in, which is the in standard U logic, that's the component. Then we're going to use a NAND gate, now an end gate with two input and one of the input is inverted so that is designated in Siling uniform naming convention that is N2 B1, B1 one input is inverted. Port, so the output O is standard U logic followed by 
I zero, the first in Stanley U logic, that is supposed to be the inverted one. Then the second one is non-inverted, that's called I1 in standard U logic. The other component we can use is a NAND gate with two input, both inputs are inverted. And the O is the output, the I0 is the in input, standard U logic, the I1 is the input as well. Well, from our de derivation, which is not shown here, those are what we need. And we need a data flip-flop, which is called by styling as FDC, meaning data flip-flop with clear input. So the typical O is the, or Q is the output, followed by the clock, which is designated by C, followed by the clear, designated by CLR, and then the data for D, that is the way it's supposed to be written down. Then before we begin the description, we need some internal signal that is not shown in the entity port listing, so they should be classified here as signals. And our derivation of the circuit shows we need three signals that we have designated as S1, S2, S3, and data, the standard logic. And then the Q internal, we call Q in, is standard logic. Then we use the count an integer that ranges from zero to 500,000. We will see how to, what is the purpose of that later on. From all this related information, because we're going to assign to the, uh, we will provide from outside the system 50 megahertz, so we like to derive a 100 hertz from that so-called CLK100. And the state of the machine is designated as state, which is a four-bit standard logic vector that we're going to use because we're going to generate this uh, 100 clock hertz, which is basically 0.1 rather 10 milliseconds. 1 over 100 is 10 milliseconds. And we intend to delay the detected push of the bouncy button by 40 milliseconds. So we need four of these 100 hertz. That's why we need, we need some kind of state. And the output of the debounce button, we call it BD. The meaning to say the clean button. So from our derived circuit, uh, 